won't you be my neighbor? Well, hello, neighbor. You're watching The Daily Decrypt, episode 30. I'm Amanda B. Johnson, your host. Today, Bitcoin is $331. Made safe coin is two cents. Counterparty is 90 cents, and the Supernet is $1.18. And today's episode is brought to you by Telebit. A new BitTorrent client that uses incentives to make file sharing faster and profitable is now available, and it's called Joystream. So Joystream lets leechers send Bitcoin micropayments to seeders in order to make file sharing so quickly that it would ideally reach streaming level speeds. Joystream is available on all operating systems, and if you would like to learn more about it, there is a discussion group going on in ZapChain. You may have heard of Dash, which is a cryptocurrency we've mentioned here on the Daily Decrypt a few times, most especially regarding masternodes. And in case you're wondering what masternodes means or how all of it works, like for example, Darksend, which is how masternodes anonymize Dash payments, or Instant X, which is how masternodes can guarantee almost instantaneous confirmations, Dash has been kind enough to put out this video series, which you may find educational in case you were curious. And I just like when people put out videos uh, to replace the sort of like, oh, here's a 20 page long wiki that we have written here that you will never read because it's boring and dry. So if you were ever curious, as some people are, in that Dash masternodes get paid, there you go. Have you ever heard of Wolfram Alpha? It's very cool. So I have used Wolfram Alpha just to generate QR codes for payment addresses, right? And so I've just typed in the address, like for example, my Bitcoin tip address, like here, and then QR and then code, and I press enter and voila bazam, it makes a QR code for me. But I just discovered today that you can do a lot more than make QR codes on Wolfram Alpha. It calls itself a computational knowledge engine, which is apparently uh, markedly different from like a search engine. And you just plug in questions that you have and it uses like special things to give you answers. For example, about things like chemistry and history and math and physics and even games and all of these things. And so if you are a data head which I suspect some of you might be, I think you would get a never-ending braingasm by visiting Wolfram Alpha, so I just wanted to tell you about it. There is a government-run television channel in the Netherlands called VPRO, and earlier this month, they released a 50-minute documentary called The Gospel of Bitcoin. And I've seen a clip of it, and the clip was to my liking, but I hear from a lot of others who have, who have watched the full thing, that it is definitely worth a watch. Uh, apparently it features Roger Veer, Bitcoin Jesus quite a lot, but unlike a lot of other crypto documentaries, it also features interviews with people who think that Bitcoin is the devil. And so it's supposed to make for an interesting sort of, you know, counter argument asks the viewer who's more credible, that sort of thing. And so if you were looking for a documentary to curl up with this weekend, there you go. How annoying is it when the weather forecaster tells you to expect rain and you cancel your tailgate party or your beach party or whatever, and then it doesn't rain? Could more accurate weather predictions be made if people predicting that weather had to put their money where their mouth is? Maybe. And the gambling site WebBet is betting on it. WebBet is a place where you can gamble Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin to make weather predictions for any of 5,000 plus cities across the globe. And if you're right, you get paid. And so I am seeing, I have a flash vision of a future in which a site like WebBet is potentially more accurate in predicting the weather than some clickbaity website like weather.com or something. We recently received a tip in Monero from Twitter Leo Treasure. Hey, thanks, Leo. And out of curiosity, we went to the Monero blockchain 
to see what our tip looked like on the blockchain, right? Because like I've told you already, Monero uses crypto note and view keys to like do all of these things where it obscures transactions on the blockchain. But I was like, I've never even looked at the Monero blockchain. I should look at it. And so I plugged my payment address into MoneroBlocks.eu and it tell it gives me an error. Like it cannot, it, they don't, you, you cannot search people's transaction histories by addresses on the Monero blockchain. So that in and of itself, I was like, oh wow, <laughs> that, that is kind of private. So I actually have to open my Monero wallet to pull out the transaction ID, which only Leo and I know. And I plug that into the block explorer and it did bring up the transaction and you know what it told me like almost pretty much a whole lot of nothing right like i don't know leo's address that he sent from it didn't show my address either and it did not even show the exact amount that he tipped us and so i was just kind of blown away by that and turns out people whose whose favorite crypto is not even monero like peter todd for example Peter Todd tweeted recently that he uses Monero to launder his Bitcoins. Like, bada bing, bada boom. Useful for all, regardless of what your favorite crypto is. So, thanks Leo and thanks Monero. And the Latin American Bitcoin Conference is coming up in Mexico City on December 4th and 5th. And guess who got press passes? This one and also a cameraman. And we will be there covering it on those days. And so you can look forward to that. I know that I am. And good vibes to the people at Telebit who have been our sponsors this week. I think it's it's a good way to tell the usefulness of something if the person who's hawking it and trying to sell it to you actually uses it themselves. And that's what the Telebit people did when they reached out to us about sponsorship. They paid us using the Telebit bot. And so that's neat. If you would like to learn how to use it on your own Telegram account or just how to use it on your Android device, visit Telebit.org. And speaking of bots, Remember to subscribe to The Daily Decrypt so that a Google bot can email you every time we release a video. I love bots. I love robots. Have a good weekend. I believe in miracles.